Assembling structures from a supply of building material is a fundamental task in science and engineering. The goal is to change the configuration of components from a given start to a desired final configuration. Often by using mobile workers, such as humans or machines, to move the material. Speeding up this process can be achieved by using more than one worker. As the number of workers rises, this makes coordination a crucial issue. With the advances in cyber physical systems and microcomputing, a novel approach to reconfiguration becomes feasible having the material move itself. These catoms are not just passive building blocks. They can change their own shape and coordinate their motion with their neighbors, allowing larger-scale reconfiguration. In principle, this also allows building large structures, such as this block configuration. However, this only uses pipeline sequences of individual particles moved to their final positions. For large arrangements, this can be very time-consuming. So how can we coordinate robot motion to achieve efficient reconfiguration? Previous work considers a start configuration of robots that needs to be rearranged into a desired target configuration. Of interest is the ratio between the length of a coordinated collision-free schedule and the length of the direct unobstructed motion to a goal. It can be shown that well-choreographed sequences of parallel moves can be used to ensure constant stretch. However, this method does not apply if connectivity needs to be preserved to ensure energy supply, communication, and assisted motion. Consider this configuration and a catom at position S that needs to be moved to T. Path A is short but loses connectivity. On the other hand, path B preserves connectivity but does not achieve constant stretch. With more intricate coordination, both are possible. But can we always achieve this? even for unlabeled robots. Deciding whether a schedule with MixPen 1 exists is just as simple as finding a perfect matching in a bipartite graph. But even checking whether a mix span of 2 can be achieved is an NP-hard problem. Here is the proof idea, based on a reduction from planar monotone 3 set. Variables are represented by rows of robots, with clauses above and below. Additional robots ensure connectivity. This is what the overall reconfiguration looks like with moving robots. Here is a close-up of a clause. And here is a close-up of a variable. Now we turn to a positive result, achieving connected reconfiguration with bounded stretch. The idea is to exploit a globally connected structure called scaffold. It is based on constant size tiles. These tiles can be locally transformed in parallel. Further, we can shift robots between tiles. In the last step, we revert the first step to achieve the original target configuration. To build the scaffold, we use a cover by constant-sized tiles. For each tile's boundary, we make use of robots within a 5x5 five five neighborhood. The scaffold can be built in parallel for tiles that do not share neighborhoods. In detail, a tile's boundary is built by swapping a free position on the boundary with a robot in the tile's interior see the green path. Within the cells, we perform appropriate reconfigurations. To this end, we shift robots between tiles to adjust the number of robots within the respective tiles. Based on an initial matching, we know how many robots have to be shifted, so we get a demand and supply flow problem. 
Because of tile sizes, we only have to shift robots between tiles in their immediate neighborhoods. We arrange these robots locally at their tiles boundary and shift them in parallel into their target tiles. To rearrange the robots at the boundary, we use local reconfigurations within the tiles. Here is a simple approach to rearrange robots within tiles in a connected manner. Because the motion stays within a tile, this can be done in parallel for all tiles. We proceed in two phases. First, we move all robots to the lower left corner. The second phase adjusts the configuration along L-shaped paths to a canonical configuration. This looks the same for every starting configuration with the same number of robots. Because moves are reversible, any connected configuration can be created. Thus, we can't position the needed number of robots at tile boundaries to realize the flow. Finally, here is a high-level illustration for turning this brilliantly red mug of flavorful coffee into sausage. Mm -hmm.